What's up everybody, Mark here. In this video, we're gonna talk about Armiston Baines. Armiston Baines is a researcher who worked for the Alliance who disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The mystery around his death is covered by Alliance Brass is when you go to talk to Anderson about it. He's shocked that you know his name at all. His story is one that you might have missed during your first Mass Effect 1 playthrough, or playthroughs. It took until my fourth playthrough for me to find it. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed the content that I'm putting out, why not leave a like and subscribe? I would greatly appreciate it. I'm currently doing a live stream playthrough of Mass Effect 1. The first stream is on the channel, so y'all can take a look at that if y'all want. Now, on to the video. The side story is available after you save Dr. Michelle from Fizz Gang and have recruited Garrus. You'll need to come back to the Met Clinic after a few missions, but before you talk to Emmer Koku about his squad, you'll see why later on. When you come back and you're in exchange between the Doctor and someone trying to restore her. This woman can't seem to stay out of trouble, can't she? She'll go on to explain that she got fired from her last job for giving out free medical supplies, and now someone has found out about it and she's being blackmailed for shipments of supplies. We can help her deal with the blackmailer by going down to see Morrowin, a merchant in the lower markets. It turns out that he was just a front for the real blackmailer. You can convince him to stand down pretty easily. Is he just a middleman in the whole thing? He wants no piece of Shepard. When you go back to the Met Clinic and tell Dr. Michelle what happened, we can ask Dr. Michelle about Baines. She reveals that she used to work with him a while back and they had been contracted by Yohan's military for a job out in the Traverse. This will lead us in the direction of Commander Anderson. As I said earlier, he'd be surprised that you even brought Bane's name up. Apparently, Bane's had been working on some high-level assignments for the Alliance, and one day he was found dead on a scout ship. Everyone suspects that he was murdered, but there was no formal investigation into it, which I found strange. If someone worked for you and they turned up dead, wouldn't you want to find out who did it? That's suspicious. Yeah, that's, fine. that's weird. Anderson will then direct you toward Admiral Kohoku, who is over at Citadel Tower trying to get the council to investigate Bane's death. When you talk to him, he'll tell you that one of his crews found him dead on that ship, and that he sent a recon group to investigate the system where they found his body. He lost contact with him the day before, and is now being stonewalled from investigating it. He'll ask us to help him find out what happened, which leads us to Edwards where we find his recon team dead. The beacon was placed next to a thresher monast where they got absolutely eviscerated. We tell Admiral Kohoku the circumstances of what happened to his squad, he'll go off and try to find out what happened on his own. Therefore, it's important to ask about Baines before you tell Coco what happened, as he'll disappear and the trail will end with Anderson. Even so, after you go through all this, there's still a question that hasn't been answered. What the hell happened to Baines then? We never truly find out how he died. Baines' storyline pretty much ends with Kohoku. We do find out the Cerberus were the ones who laid that beacon on Edelus and poor Kohoku. That man tried to get away, but Cerberus was on his ass. They eventually caught up with him and we find him dead on Bentu. However, in Mass Effect 3, we can learn something highly interesting about Baines. If you take Dr. Michelle instead of Dr. Chakwas, she revealed that Baines was actually a Cerberus agent. That makes me wonder. Maybe that's why the investigation into his death had been on the down low. The Alliance probably found out who Baines really worked for. Someone on Reddit came up with this idea for what could have happened to Baines and I wanted to share it with you guys because this sounds pretty good. Okay, so what if Baines was one of the original Cerberus scientists that caused the attack on the coups? Baines goes undercover and works for the Alliance. The reason was most likely so he could get access to Alliance Marines to use his test subjects. Bane starts blackmailing with Dr. Michelle for extra medical supplies. Whether before his experiments or himself is unknown, but then Kerbal Tunes escapes the service facility and starts killing all the scientists related to the Akuz project. Bane's was most likely one of his victims. Admiral Koku sends Marines to investigate Bane's death. They find Bane's body and notice there's a stress beacon on a nearby planet Edelus and they wind up missing. Then after being stonewalled, Admiral Koku asks Shepard to investigate his missed Marines where they end up dead too. I can get behind this idea as it gives Baines a motive for going undercover and why he would need medical supplies. It never explained why he needed them, but it could be for either reason mentioned. Corporal Tunes was going after Cerberus at the time for what happened on the coups, so Baines could have been killed by him as an act of vengeance, and it seemed like he had been dead for a while, just enough time for Kahuku's men to find him. My biggest question was how long had Baines been dead for? I thought it could have been a few years and someone was just pretending to be Baines. That wasn't the case though as Anderson revealed that Kahoku was looking into Baines' death, so it happened recently. The truth is, is that we'll never really know what led to Armiston Baines' death. His story was just a footnote in the massive world that is Mass Effect. It would be nice if we could have gotten a little more, but now all we can do is speculate on it. Thank you for watching y'all, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.